Welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use JavaScript to validate form input as the user is filling in. For example, we have this form on the screen. When you start typing, you see what happens. If the input does not meet the requirement, there will be a message there. So I start typing. You see it says too short until I get to the required amount of characters it will not remove that error you see also also when you try to type in special characters as you can see it automatically removes them you may type you see it tries it will remove them it will remove the spaces the special characters that are not required to only allow underscore okay the next thing we do we, we see the email when you start filling in the email it will give you an error if it's not a valid email until it's valid it will display to the user an error we go to the password. When you start typing the password, for example, if this password does not meet the requirements, the confirm password is disabled, so you cannot type in anything here until this is meets the requirements. Okay, so after there's a check mark here, you can now type in here. Okay, the next part of the form is that you cannot see the submit button if you've not agreed to the terms. So if I check, I agree to terms, I see the submit button. Okay, so this is what I want us to learn today. So we will split the lesson into five. We will have the introduction which we are having right now, then these are the ones will follow in a playlist. So I hope you enjoy and learn a lot of JavaScript here. But first, we have to do the markup and CSS to style the form. Okay, so we start. We're going to begin with a basic HTML document. I have saved it as cool form html so we're going to put in our form tag we're going to give this form an id we're going to give it a method which it will send data we're going to use post then action this is the file that will process this form. We're just going to call it process.php. Okay, so that's the form. So what I'd like to do when creating my forms, I put them my input fields in a certain list. For example, I'm going to use a list, and I'm going to put my inputs inside list items this will help to arrange them so i'm going to type in username then put in a break and put the actual input Then I'm going to give it an ID. The ID is going to be the username and I'm going to give it a name, the same as the ID. Then I'm going to give it more attributes like required and auto. 
focus. Now, this attribute is a Boolean attribute that ensures that this field is filled in. This one makes sure that when the document loads, this field is automatically focused. Okay, so when you preview this file, let's preview it in UC browser. You see, this is what we get, but we want it to appear like this. Okay, so we are going to move on to adding more elements and we will style them. So as you can see, when you look at this form, there's this red asterisk to mean that it's required. So this is how I put it. I put it by adding a span there with a class of required asterisk. Now this one will come in handy when we're styling it. So far we haven't. And the next element we need to add in this list item is this span which displays the errors okay this span now how we add it i'm just going to add a span right after that element like that so this is the way we're going to create them okay so you see now i create them so i'm going to add the other elements and we, we continue from there so i've gone ahead to type in all the other elements it's still the same the email has that span which has that asterisk and it's of type email the id email and it's required now you may ask why am i giving it an id and a name the name is for the purposes of php and the id is for the purposes of javascript okay so i have the email the password of type password they all have this asterisk i wanted the confirm password they look exactly the same now then i've added this input type of checkbox with an idea of agreed terms and the text right after that then i'll put in a button of type button and the id of button it's very important because there can be three types of buttons that is type button type reset and type submit now i want to use type button because some people will actually turn off javascript from their browsers to avoid validation so if you turn off javascript in this case you will not be able to submit data okay because this but this form depends now on javascript to submit okay when you click this button it's going to trigger a click event which will check whether the form is well validated before submitting it so if you switch off your javascript you will not be able to use the form now let's do, let's see how it looks let's save the file This is how it looks so far. No, so we want to use CSS to style it to bring it up to this code. Okay. So we're going to the head where we're going to add the CSS. Now, the first thing I want is to remove these list items. So how I do that. Is I'm going to add this I'm going to target a form with the ID of the cool form the unordered list I'm going to give the property of list style type of none okay so when you save and we go back see they're gone the next thing I'm going to add some padding so the list items which contain the input elements I'm going to give them this padding okay so when you save the file and refresh this is what we should get okay with some padding the next thing I'm going to target the input types of password 
email and text to give them some properties okay you see now i'm targeting the form with the id of the cool form the another list the list now i zero down to the input of type password that's how you target the attributes comma input type text and input type email okay so i only give them these few attributes border none outline none background color transparent border bottom two pixels solid blue width 180 pixels padding five pixels and font family so when you save the file and refresh now we're almost up to code okay you see next thing i want to style this asterisk to become red now it's simple i'm only going to add that the span with the class of required asked we want the color to be red okay that will make them red so when you save the file refresh red now the final part will target this button okay now you see when we load the page it is not visible okay so we are going to target it you see I'm targeting the button with the type of button okay I'm giving it a width background color border none border button padding color font family cursor to be the pointer and visibility hidden this is one of the tricks so when the user loads the page the button will be invisible okay so until the user checks this checkbox he cannot be able to see the submit button okay now that one will be a functionality that will be added using javascript okay so and give it some animation so when i save the page now you will not be able to see it okay until we add the javascript functionality so let's you see it's not there so that's how we want the form to start off okay so that's it we have finished adding elements and styling them so the next thing we add now javascript which will now validate this form live see you in the next lesson